usually a patient uh, will have a high temperature and will not feel well, severe headaches, vomiting, um, would, would cause the patient to come, come to the emergency room or, or in, in our case in an urgent care setting so we can evaluate them. Um, so uh, the, most patients know when, 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 uh, when they need to seek attention. The problem is they don't know it's because of dehydration or heat exhaustion. Is there any tips for seniors dealing with heat? Yes, absolutely. Uh, seniors uh, are historically more affected with dehydration. Uh, their, their systems are slightly more fragile and, and usually their uh, renal function is not as robust as uh, younger folks. So uh, uh, I would recommend uh, all our elderly to stay indoors when the temperatures are elevated and, and replenish themselves with plenty of fluids. One thing I really do want to get across, and my patients know this, uh, I'm a big stickler with, with hydration. I think uh, our body is made of 70% fluid, uh, just like our world is made of 70% water. And it's a, it's a common number that we need to keep in mind. Uh, I really recommend my patients uh, to drink enough fluids, and I don't tell my patients how much to drink. I just want them to count how much they urinate. So if you're urinating every two to three hours, then you're taking enough fluids in. And if you're not, then you're not putting enough fluids in your body. That is a very good marker. Is Again, some, some humans uh, can handle low amounts of water and be fine, and, and others don't. You just gotta measure how much you urinate in a day and, and keep your hydration levels up. Do seniors adjust as well as younger people to changes in temperature? No, senior, seniors do poorly with, with, with any kind of significant change. Uh, cold, uh, high temperatures are, are difficult for, uh, for our seniors. Um, and uh, we see more of them uh, in our urgent care setting with, with dehydration. Uh, again, uh, we live in an environment that is not only hot, but is very dry. Uh, dehydration happens in the wintertime as well as the summertime. Uh, so this, this rule of thumb of urinating every two to three hours is a very good rule and I, and I talk about that with my patients regularly. Are seniors more likely to have medical conditions that upset normal body responses to heat? Yes, obviously, uh, again, the, the, the good example of this would be a patient who is renally impaired. Uh, our kidney function diminishes as, as we age, and therefore uh, other medical processes, uh, especially when patients are medi on medications, uh, uh, become more um, fragile, um, and they are more susceptible to changes like heat.